End of season deal. Half off styrofoam planes. So this is a Sky Rider. Four foot wing fan. Here we're going to find the center of gravity. So I started the project thinking that I would basically just use the styrofoam chuck glider as is and carve out spots for the electronics. I quickly determined that uh, the styrofoam route was wrought with problems and uh, figured that 3D printing would be the solution. So this was my first attempt at you know, projecting splines across planes in uh, Fusion 360, but uh, you know, I gave it a shot and quickly figured it out and was able to produce pretty good nose cones for the motor and servos and radio equipment. If you're interested in a video of, uh, I guess, detailing how I make these nodes cones, uh, give me a comment and, uh, you know, I might put that on the docket. Now the reason why the firewall is separate from the nose cone is so that when uh, I go to print it on the uh, 3D printer, I don't have to use support. This motor is a little 1404 motor and it's pretty cool, but it doesn't have a lot of power. I think it's only meant for 200 or 300 gram models. And so, you know, I'm kind of pushing the limit with this plane. It's got a five amp two cell speed controller and 
uh, 2.5 gram servos. And the battery is a two cell 400 milliamp hour. Once I had the nose cone glued on, the rest was pretty much just brute force. I jammed some control rods down the fuselage and then connect them up to the control surfaces and then we're off to the races. Thanks to the folks over at Flight Test who share all their construction techniques, I'm able to do this pretty quickly. Here I'm using tape as a hinge. In this version of the plane, I have to join the two elevators on each side with a wire, uh, which I actually did off camera. 
Off camera I added some guides to help the control rods mainly because they are pretty thin uh, piano wire to save weight and they were flexing. So unfortunately the model is quite nose heavy as uh, as I built it, but uh, you know I want to get out and fly it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and uh, see what I can do. If I remember correctly, I think I glued a double A and a triple A to the tail to get this plane to balance for flight. I think that's why it's so sluggish on, uh, on the controls. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you know you can see the next revision of this plane. Also, don't forget to like just to appease the YouTube gods. Uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great weekend.